going on, fellow junkies? Horror Junkies 509. Kyle 13th coming at you again today, you guys, and happy weekend, you guys. I'm so ready to get this weekend started. Uh, we're going to be celebrating Angelina's birthday this weekend, even though her birthday's next weekend, but we're going to go out and have a killer time, but I wanted to come with you guys and go ahead and do another video because I always miss you guys. I always wish I could be doing more videos all the time, but time doesn't allow it, but I'm always going to try my best to get more out there, you guys. So what am I going to be going over today? I got a couple things I, I kind of want to cover, but this will be a mask review. And I'm always excited to come to you and do a mask review with you guys because they're my absolute favorite videos to do. So, how are you guys doing out there? I hope you guys are doing well. So what are we going to be going over? So like I said, I will be doing a mask review and it is related to a film uh, that came out in 2019. It's a little bit of a supernatural uh, slasher movie a little bit. Uh, I just rewatched it to try to like, you know, kind of get my brain wrapped around it again. Because the first time I watched it, I didn't really care about it that much. But we are talking about 2019's uh, Candy Corn. And so this was a, uh, a fan-funded uh, film that was uh, kind of talked about quite a bit way back in the day. And uh, like I said, I mean, I rewatched it just recently. And I, I kind of enjoyed this a lot more than I did the first time. Uh, it is on Tubi, so if you guys want to check it out, yeah, it has ads, but I mean, you know, still worth watching, uh, and then definitely worth getting if you guys enjoy it. Uh, definitely, uh, taking place around Halloween, so if you guys are into Halloween movies, good, bad, or the other, uh, this could be something definitely for you. Um, yeah, so that's that movie. So let's go ahead and get into right exactly what I'm reviewing, if I can enunciate and talk today. So I will be going over what's known as the Jacob mask from Candy Corn. And this mask, I absolutely love. Like the first time I ever saw this coming out, like I knew I had to have one because to me, this looks like almost like a pumpkin jack-o'-lantern version of a Michael Myers mask. So it's got the orange on it. And it just kind of has that good face uh, sculpt to it. I really enjoy it. And so they go ahead and start with the ticket. We've got the Jer uh, Josh Hasty's Candy Corn right there. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we got the Trick or Treat Studios tag. It does say Jacob Atkins uh, mask on the back. So that's the character from the movie. And then there's Caring for Your Mask. Uh, so this mask was sculpted by Justin Mabry. So that is a very good thing. That's how we know uh, things, get, things are getting done correctly. Uh, did I lose my scissors in here? Oh, well, I don't, have to, I don't think I have to cut the tag off in the video. But let's go ahead and get right into this. Let me go ahead and see if you guys can come and check out some of this really great kind of rotted pumpkin like detail i really really do love this mask but be careful because they do have two versions of it and uh the other one is not nearly as great as this one i think this one has such a really great look probably the hair the way it's pasted on is one of the worst parts about the mask but i honestly think the way this mask is structured i think that almost adds a lot to it it kind of gives it another creep feel to it uh yeah they could have punched it in or done a different job with it but i don't know I think it just works with it. I don't, I think it's just, uh, might be my opinion. You'll have to let me know what you guys down, what you guys think down in the comments. But, uh, kind of going over the sculpt, you guys, it is rarely really movie accurate. I just, like I said, I just watched it. Um, I feel like the coloring's a little bit different, but I still feel like it's very, very serviceable. Uh, because in the movie, like, there's a point where like, you see the mask, it almost looks gray. Uh, but then once, like, Jacob dons the mask, it kind of gets this orange, uh, pumpkin y, bloody color. So, I really think it's a really great mask, and uh, like I said, the mold looks absolutely fantastic. I like the hair, but yeah, there's a little point. The paste on the front here makes it look really kind of weird and tacky, uh, but I think it adds to it a lot. I think uh, all kind of going through uh, the detail, you know, he's kind of got the cauliflower ears here a little bit. Uh, just kind of like the jack-o'-lantern smile and kind of going through the cheeks as well. Uh, his ear for this side. Um, all the wrinkles in the forehead. I mean, just... I mean, I don't really have a bad thing to say about this mask. I really do enjoy it. Uh, it really gives that rotted pumpkin look. So uh, looking over the sculpting, I think it looks absolutely fantastic. The hair looks really great. Uh, the paint up, I don't know if you can really see that there is like some dried up blood kind of going with the orange. I mean, the colors are a little bit too similar, so you, you might not be able to pick it up in the video. Uh, but yeah, this is the uh, Jacob Atkins mask from Candy Corn Film of 2009, you guys. Uh I don't know. As soon as I saw this, I had to have it. Let's go ahead and try this bad boy on. So, needless to say, you guys are probably about to see a chubby version of Jacob Atkins. And uh, don't you be eating this candy corn. Don't you do it. 
you guys will have to let me know down in the comments if you've seen this movie or not because I'm kind of curious to see uh, how how far around it got. Like, uh, how widespread did this movie get? I, I have a feeling a lot of horror fans saw it, so a lot of my viewers probably have seen it. Uh, but if not, let me know. All right, let's see what the fit's like. Here we go. I like that look. I like it a lot. Really get in there on some of that detail. Yeah, baby. All right, you guys. Uh, so as far as the fit goes, um, it fits a little snug on me, but I actually like the kind of fit it does. It kind of makes my eyes feel a little wonky because my eyes are really pushed up into the eyes. Like, I think you could tell when I was wearing it. Like, my eyes are really right at the holes. Uh, but honestly, I would definitely be perfectly fine with this fit. Uh, honestly, this would be a great displayer for you guys that just like to display masks, too. Uh, I mean, just look at it. I mean, I really think it would be go great with, like, uh, if you could find a display stand where it would keep the eyes all blacked out. I really think it kind of gives a really creepy vibe and looks really good. Um, but the fit... Like I said, a little small. I have a little bit over a 23-inch head, so it fits me fairly well. Um, but probably anything bigger than that is probably going to have a tough time with it. So uh, kind of buy your own risk if you do have a larger head than a little bit over a 23-inch. Uh, but, you know, I think this is a pretty stellar mask for a kind of like not a very well-known movie, but I think people know about it. So, But like I said, check it out on Tubi, you guys. It's definitely worth it. Um, and that's the Jacob Atkins mask, you guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this mask a solid... I'm going to give this a solid 8 uh, because I really think the sculpt is on fire. I think the paint up looks really, really good. The hair being the biggest kind of downfall, but I almost, like when I wear it, I, I feel like it fits. Like it, it's not out of place in any way, shape, or form. Like the Victor Crowley hair that paste, is pasted on there, that doesn't fit at all in any way, shape, or form. But I think this just kind of gives it a, almost an extra creepy look to it. Like, I don't know. I could be wrong. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Uh, but I do have one more thing I want to show you. So I did give the mask this an 8 out of 10. Uh, so I, th I definitely think that's a really good serviceable score. Uh, but another thing that kind of comes from the movie, um, this thing kind of holds all my prop weapons and stuff like that. Not obviously right now. Uh, but this is the pail that he has in the movie, and he kind of carries his candy corn in it. So Jacob's really into eating candy corn the candy. I am not a huge fan of it. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I'm one of those people that likes to eat like a handful of candy corn a year and then call it a day. Uh, but definitely, check out this pail. Nice, hard, plastic pail. And I think the sculpt of the pumpkin looks really great. I think the coloring is absolutely amazing. And so you still have the ticket for uh, candy corn right here. And then on the reverse side, you do have the Trick or Treat Studios ticket. Um, this was also sculpted by Justin Mabry. And it just says, Jacob's Pumpkin Pail. And I've always liked pails like this. Like, if I ever could go trick or treating again, I would totally use this. So this one, I'm going to go ahead and give a solid 9 out of 10 because I absolutely love it. I don't think they could have improved this in any way, shape, or form. Um, honestly, it could just get a 10. But, I mean, heck, you got I got to have some di displeasure with something like that. But, you know, definitely highly recommend it if you're looking for kind of like a pumpkin pail. Like, this is a cool decoration. I always have this out in my Halloween decoration stuff. So, yeah. Uh, that's going to do it for my little review of candy corn, you guys. Remember, it's on Tubi, and uh, they do have Blu-rays out. I do have mine, and, uh, you know, watch your own risk. I mean, it's not perfect, and it's not – it is what it is. I really do think it uh, gets better every time I watch it, so I do enjoy it. So the mask, the pail, the movie, they all get a solid – the mask, 8 out of 10, the pail, a 9 out of 10, and everything gets a solid. So that's going to do it for me. Horde Junkies 509, Kyle 13, signing out just until next time. You guys already know it. I've been sentenced to life. I am a horror lifer. And you guys have a killer day. Hope everyone's doing well out there. And uh, don't worry. 
I hope you guys are enjoying my short my shorts and I'm trying to get back to doing more videos, but you know, I got to get some more products to go over and uh, different things to talk about. So never gone, just trying to find a new way to keep my channel going. Stay bloody, my friends.